Hello, hello, hello again. I'm back here at the easel and I have a small canvas up here that we'll do a little little uh, practice on, I guess. So one thing that I've found is that people have a really hard time making Bob's bushes or just bushes in general for painting with oil paint in the, in the wet and wet, wet on wet technique. So I'm going to make um, bushes the way that I do them and then I'm also going to do them with a one inch the kind of the way they teach you at the CRI classes but <clears throat> these are the two brushes that I'll use the half round which is my preferred method and then we'll use a one inch brush and make some push-up bushes so uh, and there's there's other ways you can do bushes but these are just the two I'm going to show today all right so let's get started and I mixed up a pile of paint here. I'll show you what it looks like. It is sap green and a little blue in it. I think it's Prussian blue I put in. It probably would have rather had thalo blue, but I put Prussian because it was laying out. I like having the green for bushes because you know, it adds usually uh, when we're getting to start thinking about bushes, it's going to be pretty close. That's a good dark color, the sap green. And then change it up with something like black or blue just to kind of give it a, a little bit different feel. So it's not straight green, but that's kind of a standard uh, bush mix or foliage for a, a close-up tree mix for me. All right, so I'm going to do the push-up bushes first because that's my preferred method. All right, there's that one. So we'll take this and we'll just kind of bounce this, kick this away. So if I do this, we'll lay that flat and just kind of go into it. I've got most of the bristles hitting there on the top half, okay? Now you're going to get paint all over the brush, but you can probably see that. I've got more paint on those top, on the top, top of the brush, on top half of the brush, than I do on the bottom half. And that's what you want. And you get that, but it's kind of kicking it away from you. Just kick it up, kind of just do it like this and kind of load it, okay? All right, so we're just going to think about some bushes. And again, this is not to be a painting. Just kind of tap some little shapes, and this will get you started thinking about how you should highlight these also. You don't just daub color on here. You can, and you can make that work, that's fine. But you can also start thinking about little bush shapes. That's a little bush shape, right? And the way we get that is, if you think about it, uh, let's make a bigger one maybe. I'm gonna put one mark, okay? Okay, and I don't keep hitting it. I want to see some of that white through there too. But that is 12 o'clock. Let's go back to 11, 10, okay? Maybe a little close to nine there on that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm going to come over here and go one, two, three. And that gives me a kind of a, a bush shape. And if you wanted to, you could always leave a little area there and just kind of step down a little bit. Put one right in front of that. Okay. So this is pretty much how you make these little brush uh, strokes for doing these little bush shapes. Okay. Nothing to it really. Let's raise this one up just to give us a little bit of dark there. And again, you can smack, I'll just smack some dark here and then highlight that too. So it really doesn't matter. It's just kind of um, uh, helps people start thinking about how bush looks. You can bring one that's half off the canvas there and half on. We'll make that one dark since all that's in front of it. But even right there, if you use a decent color mix, that's a nice little green bush right there. You don't even have to highlight that. If that was back, if, you know, if the sun was in front of that, you probably wouldn't need much highlight. But we'll, we'll highlight it to show you. So again, I'm just touch, touch, touch a little bit. You can still see, look how much white you can still see through um, my bushes here on this top part and right through here. Now again, I'm a little harder right here because it gets darker as we get closer. All right, so I'm going to, instead of washing brushes and going, uh, getting, uh, boring you with that and uh, getting thinner everywhere I'm just going to grab a clean half round and go right to work on that so you will likely need some liquid white okay and you can get a big tube for uh, that would last you for a long long time right there and you could test it without the liquid white your your cad yellow which is what I have out here and I'm, I'm not worried about making different uh, colors on the canvas really today. So if your cad yellow should be thin, 
Mine's a little thick. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of liquid white into my color mix. And the way I do that, I just go into my little tub here, and I'll, I'll show you how much I'm going to get to start with. Probably get too much here. Let me see what I'm doing. Uh, I might want a little more than that. Because I can tell the paint's pretty thick. I'm going to take about that much just on the bristles, okay? <clears throat> and then I am going to go back to my paint. And... If I get my hand out of the way here, I'll just kind of do it like this. I'm going to go right into my paint with that liquid white. And that's going to thin that down. And it should. And again, I'm kicking that up a little bit. So I'm getting more of the paint on the top half of the brush. There we go. And just kind of... But you can also start seeing little bush shapes there by working that brush. And this is why this is my preferred method to do these, these kind of effects on on a canvas now this will be an important step here so watch close because what we're going to do is touch a couple times and then we're going to look at our brush to see what it looks like so we want to start with the ones in the back let's start with this one go outside the dark just a touch okay just a touch and and you're highlighting right on top of that right there okay now what i want to look at is is my brush still mainly yellow I'm starting to see a little green come onto my brush. So that's telling me that this paint here um, is thinner or close to the same consistency as my yellow. So I may need to add a little bit more liquid white. Now the problem with adding liquid white, as you probably know, it's going to take that yellow down and make it really, really bright and shiny, right? So I added a little bit more. And let's come over here. There we go. It should. And you can see I'm not smacking the canvas right I'm just touching the canvas and then I've, I've kind of highlighted the outside edge and what I like to do here is drop down just a little bit and just kind of stick a bush right there kind of the rest of the bush is what I would call that right and there's one little bush now again I got lazy and only put yellow out so we can change it by grabbing a little bit of our color that's next to it if we want to do and that'll make it a little bit green because our color next to us has yellow and green. And I'm going to get you guys a different angle on this so you can just see how little pressure I use. All right, I've got you at a weird angle, but I'm hoping you can see the brush and see how little pressure I'm actually putting on the canvas. And again, I'm gonna watch that paint consistency and try to keep it about the same. I don't want my brush to start getting really dirty. Now it's okay to get a little bit of the the green coming back off, that's fine. But you don't want to, let's do this one. Let's see if, yeah, you're gonna be able to see that pretty good. So again, I'm gonna to touch the outside edge. So we'll start here, do, we'll do 12, 11, 10, okay? Go back and reload and look at my brush, make sure it's not too dark, a little bit's fine. Then let's come here, we already got 12, so we'll go one, two, three, and then, we could always go right here and just by barely touching, you can see I'm not smacking that canvas. I can put that little bush shape on there. All right, so got my yellow ones on. I'm going to add just a little bit more of my mixture that we used to start with. Actually, I grabbed a good bit. So these will be quite green. All right, and again, I'm going to Think about some separation here, leaving some of the dark showing and maybe just stepping down here, touching one right there, okay? Let's go up here. Uh, let's do this one. And maybe kind of come down like that. Oh, got a chunk of paint there. Make sure you kind of tap that brush. You don't want chunky paint. And yeah, maybe there's another one right there. We can bring that one a little bit this way. Maybe just touch a little bit there. Okay. And then, come over here and grab this guy. I know we'd want a little bit there. Maybe we'd do a couple here. Right there, we'd do a little bit smaller one. And I might add just a touch more dark. Since this will be the last one. And maybe out here, it gets a little more green. Let's see if I can get a little yellow back in there. 
give us a little distinction here, right here, just barely touching. Now you've got a really, I mean, that's a nice clump of bushes there. And you know the little trick here that we've done this before that will kind of make these even nicer. And you can do this before you put the highlight on. I usually do it after, and if I have to, I touch back up. But into the dark areas, what if I scratched a few little sticks and twigs just kind of hanging out in there? And it makes it, these could be trees maybe, I don't know. Yeah, and it will look really nice if you have something else in the painting. We're not worried about that. But there is one way to make brushes now, or brushes, bushes, sorry. So I'm going to move you back and show you another way. All right, so on the left side of the canvas, we're going to switch and use a one inch brush. And I'm going to get me some of that dark and I'll show you how I load that up. Just so you can kind of see it. And excuse the mess I made. So what you want to do here, I'll try to do this so you can see it. Let me stand up, you'll be able to see it without my hand getting in the way maybe. Okay, I'm going to go into this dark and I want my brush to sit on the on my palette paper or palette just like this. Don't tip it. Don't tip it this way. Don't go like that. Hold it pretty straight and go into that paint and pull through it. Pull through it. Pull through it. Pull through it. Load up a good bit. And then what you should start noticing if you do that, you can flip that brush over on the top now. And what you'll notice, hopefully, you can see this, it rounds one of those corners. Now, I did not add enough paint because I was doing it standing up, so I'm going to add a little bit more. But, again, I'm just pulling the same direction, and it will round that corner. So then when I go to the canvas, I'm going to take that rounded corner up to the... It's going to be towards my ceiling or towards the sky, and use it that way. I'm going to load a little bit more there. I rounded a little bit more with a little bit more paint. See that rounded in? Okay, and I did that by running it like this through the paint and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go up here and I'm going to kind of kick it up a little bit and I'm going to start pushing some little bush shapes on here. And again, this is this is kind of the push-up bush uh, way to do them. Okay, and, and you can get all kinds of different shapes. Maybe just Kind of like that. I always find you get a little bit thicker here with these, but you can add less paint. Let's, let's take a little bit of that off. Let's wipe a little bit off. Uh, and we'll raise this one up a little bit. And there we go. I had almost too much. Now, there we go. Let's move that around a little bit. So you get those really nice tops, but I'm pushing up. I'm pushing pretty good. Pushing pretty good for the for the dark part, I guess. All right, let's uh, let's put one right here. Maybe it comes all the way down here. We don't care where they if these touch, but I'm just pushing this dark in, and out of this dark, we will. We'll just kind of you can really whatever with that brush, and really smack that dark on there. Yeah, it's something right there. Okay, but you get those nice little things up there on the canvas. All right, the next step. I'm gonna, again, I'm just going to different brushes so I don't have to clean these because I would need to clean that with thinner. I'm going to load. I've got a new brush, actually. I'm going to load some liquid white into that. A good bit. Okay. And I'm going to go to the edges of my paint to where I don't have liquid white yet. Or I haven't touched my yellow, I'm sorry. And I'm going to pull that through just like I did for the... Let's do it this way so you can see it. Just so... Just like before. And if you notice, there's a little indication of something right there that almost looks like what we're trying to highlight. You know, the little bush shapes that you're wanting. Okay. There's my rounded edge. And I think I need just a touch more liquid white. Again, sometimes you get thick paint, sometimes you don't. So. But you've got to have this thinned down a little bit. Uh, just It won't work as well if you don't. Okay. That brush if it gets too rounded. There we go. I've got my rounded edge, okay, and I'm going to go up here and touch, 
touch, touch, touch, okay? And I'm going to keep looking at my brush. Looks like I've got it thinned down where I need it. And touch. And cut. You almost push up just a little bit, but it's such a such a little bit that it's, it's almost not men worth mentioning. And maybe that brush just kind of comes on down like that. Okay? Now you can see I already can tell you that I prefer the bushes on the right. And that may just be me. Uh, maybe use their air, but I just think those look much more realistic than these. And again, I don't do push-up bushes very often, so again, it could be me. But you can. You can make some little things. The good thing about this is you don't have to keep cleaning 82 brushes. Uh, so like if you you know, want to teach a class or something, you can uh, have use the one inch, which you're normally going to use in a, in a painting anyway, and use it for uh, bushes and trees. Let's do one here. Well, actually, let's, let's move our angle on the camera to right there. So that maybe you guys can see. So again, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go outside the just right above the dark and touch, 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 touch. Come back, touch, touch, touch. And maybe just touch a little bit in here. Maybe this one just kind of swoops down like this. Who knows? Find your bush shapes that you like. Okay? Now we'll bring you back around. Oh, we should add some different. Let's 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 green up our color. How about that, that'll make it look a little nicer too. All right, got a little green in here now. Touch, 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 touch. I don't know if you can see that or not. We can always remember to scratch our little little sticks and twigs. Got a little too low on that one. Maybe there's a little bit there. Maybe there's one there. Always remember that you may have to add just a touch more of your liquid white. Kind of depends. Let's put another one right here. And one, two, three, and then maybe right in front. Okay. Now these are fine bushes. I just think you get a better effect and a more control over the brush by using the round. Let's do this one. Kick that brush up just a little bit and just touch. And just lightly touch. I mean, goodness, it's kind of like that. I mean, there's really, um, it almost looks like Bob's smashing, but he's not. Okay, and maybe, yeah, let's get me touch more liquid white just to kind of make the color show up a little bit better for you guys. I want to add on to that one and just kind of, then one, two, three. And then maybe right there, just kind of let that one just kind of stop. And we can all right. Now we know we got our bushes in, and um, you know, if we wanted to, we could pull a little bit of this. This is green. I'm going to grab a little bit of the bottoms of these. Kind of make a little path here. Or some water. It's muddy water. Murky. Murky water, right? Yeah, let's just turn it into water. And we'll do a couple more bushes down here in the corner. Just so you can see it. I don't mean these videos. It's almost 18 minutes long now. I didn't put much liquid white down here. And we'll put a little bit just for some color and there we go just kind of set that down flat all right and let's go back to my round brush and maybe let's just switch sides we'll just tap in a little bit down here a little dark okay. and i just i like how this brush works i think it's a prettier bush it's a prettier tree when you use it. Now, trees are a little different. They're, they're big bushes, but you can make a two inch look really nice for tree foliage. Um, it's hard to do little bushes with a two inch. <clears throat> Excuse me, and let's uh, go back to our little round, round brush here. And we'll just throw a few little highlights on this again. Remember, you're just going to barely touch 
touch, touch, touch. Maybe a little bit right there. Maybe that one just comes all the way down. Who knows? There. You can see I just like the shape that you get from this bush brush. Keep calling it a bush. <laughs> and I'm not worried about the color really changing now. I'm just gonna throw some things on here for you guys to see. And then we could you know, wherever. You could throw some little stick tree down here coming out. But this is your one inch brush, the kind of the way they look. Um now again, some people make better uh, push-up bushes than me, but they're effective. They look okay. Uh, I just think that's much nicer. Uh, you have more control over it, and it's just a it's different feel. It just feels right to me, but again, that's probably because I'm used to it. So try them both out and make you some bushes. Uh, and the way to make good bushes is to practice bushes. So I hope this was helpful. Just a little quick video. I meant it to be a little quicker, but I'm always running my mouth too much. So I hope you guys don't mind, but there you go. Have a good one. I will see you soon with another painting. Take care, guys.